Hello everyone in the wonderful land of Japan. This is your main man DT with yet another video for your cerebral cortex. Now tonight we are out and about. We just had a nice meal, but since we're out we decided to run some errands and one of them was to pick up some diapers and other essentials for my six month old. Now this video was also requested by a viewer and since my channel is for the viewer, I will always find a way to fit a video in. <laughs> Now tonight we find ourselves at a Babies R Us and Yokosuka, Japan at the address below. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, Babies R Us, are you kidding me? I thought they all went extinct. <laughs> yeah, maybe in the States, but not here, cause you know what? I don't wanna grow up, I'm a Toys R Us kid, there's a million toys for boys and girls that I can play with. So yeah, uh, take that. Also. Don't forget to like and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video or the small red square at the bottom right of this video to get access to my ever-growing collection of helpful videos or follow us on Instagram at DaddyTJapan. So at the time of this video, 2021, and what are you watching this in the future like Terminators and stuff? Did that even happen? Okay, there are over 20 Babies R Us locations in Japan. Now, when I was living in Okinawa back in 2008, they had a few out there also. So, what are we going to do here? We are going to go over everything baby related. So, you can't say you didn't know. So, you can't say, DT didn't say that in his video. He didn't say it, y'all. Because I've heard it before. <laughs> so, let's start all the way from the beginning. In the beginning, there was darkness. And God said, let there be light. And it was light. And it was good. <laughs> Alright, let's fast forward like a lot. So, if you're about to have a baby, know someone that is about to have a baby, or even thinking about having a baby while living in Japan, here are some real answers to frequently asked questions about having a baby in Japan. And remember, this is real information. How would I know? <laughs> Just look around. I'm flat out doing it for real. No Google, nothing. So I present you this scenario. You or somebody you know pop positive for a pregnancy on a at-home test. You should immediately confirm it at a doctor's office. Now this can be at a woman's clinic or a full-on hospital. There are no, and I mean no, shortages of baby clinics in Japan. I can drive through the streets of Yokosuka and point out at least five places before I even get home. Once you are confirmed pregnant by a physician, meaning they confirm there is a heartbeat in the fetus, they will give you a piece of paperwork. You would then take this paperwork and go to your city's city hall. They will either give you this or they will direct you where to go and pick this up. Now write this down. It is called a Boshi Kenko Techo, or sometimes called Boshi Techo, or colloquially referred to as a mama notebook. Now this notebook is extremely important as it contains checklists for every week of pregnancy, containing your weight, blood results, and after the baby is born, for several months after, its weight and other things. Now when you get this book, you will also and if they won't give it to you, insist on getting it. A Boshi Kenko Techo Besatsu. The last part just means additional book or other book. Now this book is super important from a financial standpoint because it contains coupons for checkups, saving you hundreds and I mean hundreds of dollars. This notebook stays with a mama or daddy for I would say at least until the child is in their late teens or even slightly further than that because companies can ask that child if they got this vaccination 20 years ago or something like that and you would have to ask your mom to refer to her notebook <laughs> this is all true information no one is willing to tell you this because they either don't know or don't care enough to tell you but i do also you can get a cover for these books off of rakuten or amazon japan also very important information to know. The cost of child delivery in Japan averages in around 40,000 yen or 4,000 US dollars. 
and about 30% of that payment is required before week 30 of the gestation period. And that is in a hospital or a clinic. I have done it at both and it has been the same. But guess what? There's good news. The government will give you Yeonju Nimayen for about 4,200 US dollars if you follow the correct paperwork at your city hall before the baby is born. Now, you will get this paperwork automatically from your clinic or hospital in around your third trimester so that you can file. So now the baby is born and it needs to eat. Now some people go the formula route or some people go with breast milk. It's your choice and it all depends on what your body can provide. I am not even going to try to win this battle because every <laughs> because I'll be getting into it with mamas all over the net. <laughs> no TT, actually, <laughs> it's all good. You choose whatever's right for you. But either way, you can get either storage bags and breast pumps for your mother's milk or formula here at the Babies R Us or at Nishimatsuya. Now this is actually my preferred formula and this kanji means from zero months of birth to a year. Now each scoop is 20 milliliters of water just so you know. And of course you can refer to the top of the can for the suggested amount based on their age. Now a little hack for you, if you can afford to get your hands on one or to rent one, a water server is super valuable in making baby formula. You can use the hot water to break down the formula very quickly and cold water to cool it down, giving you a bottle for a crying baby in under two minutes. It's how we stayed sane all these years. Now that's just a suggestion. You can manage it however you see fit. Again, your choice. Now, if the baby is around five or six months and or they're demanding milk of either kind in more frequent intervals, it's time to start feeding them semi-solids like baby food. So in Japan, we wean them off the bottle with okayu. It's basically a light soup with mushed up rice. You can also buy baby food here. Now notice the labels here. This shows the recommended age for consumption. And that first jar that you saw, that was the okayu I was talking about. Now you can make your own at home or buy it here. As you can see again by the numbers in the upper right hand corner of these food packs, they are for kids ages 12 and 9 months. Now most of these you can just put in the microwave for about 20 seconds or so, let it sit and cool, then serve. In addition, the Japanese government will further reward you with a mini stimulus payment per child a few times a year. Now the amount depends on your prefecture, the age of the child, your income, and how many children you have. This is referred to as Jido Teate and is only available to those persons that have a family register or Juminyo here in Japan or are Japanese nationals themselves. Now I covered diapers in another video but I want to give you some extra observations that I've learned recently. Now Mary's diapers are, in my opinion, the softest diapers ever. However, Goon and Mimi Poco are the cheapest. And lastly, <laughs> but most importantly, if you have a baby that keeps getting poop on their back, <laughs> use Moonies with the pocket in the back. It'll catch all that. Now you see these letters DHA thrown around a lot. I mean, you saw it on the formula and on some of the solid food like this one here. But what is it really? To put it simply, DHA is basically a omega-3 fatty acid that is found in the brain and it is also found in breast milk, which is a helpful source. And this helps the baby with further brain development, the growth of new brain cells, and the protection of existing brain cells. So, super important, DHA. I think this guy picking me up can use some DHA. You know what I mean? Am I right? He seems cool though. 
cool enough to be doing all this for you. I think I'll go home with them. He said it's time to feed the baby, so let's go. Sir, ma'am, have you been subscribing, liking, and commenting? No? Then you're going to jail. Don't forget your point card, folks. Now these points can add up and save you some cash off your next purchase. If you ever want to use points on any of your cards in your wallet, to include your baby's RS card, just say point to wool, sky tie this, or I want to use my points, please. Or sometimes I just say scalp. <laughs> Come on, come on. I think he likes it. All right. And there you have it, folks. Now you know the cost of having children in Japan, what to do and where to go if you are pregnant, the two books you need, one of which will save you money for checkups, and you saw the different types of baby food out there how to choose which one is right for your little one, and more. I hope this was helpful. Like, subscribe, and I will continue to pump out those videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. DT out. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's a million toys for boys and girls that I can play with.